a very good day to all of you as all of you know you all learn something new on the first day of the week and in the next class you practice the same so today you will revise what you learned in the earlier class let us now begin to revise the previous class can you tell why we use bullets and numbering if you are making a list and want to put different symbols in front of each line then you will use the bullets option using bullets you can put bullets in front of each line if you want to put numbers in front of the lines you will use numbering can you tell how you will set the margin on your page you will use the page sub menu of the format menu to set the margin on your page can you tell what happens with the page background with the page background you can change the background of your page you can change the color of the background and you can even apply an image on the page behind the text can you tell what happens with default formatting default formatting is such an option using which you can remove any formatting that has been done on the line or paragraph and bring it back to its original form can you tell what happens with the use of slide design with slide design you can change the design of a slide with this your normal slide will change to a different format slide design is of different types now all of you switch on your computer and use the method taught to you to open the impress file let us now begin today's class in today's class you will revise what you learned in the previous class first select the title slide layout from the layout and then type out the line given to you then copy paste this line five times if you face a problem then watch and learn from the video with the help of this video let us once again practice the use of copy paste so to copy paste from the line which we have already on the slide when we click on the slide a text box appears now we need to select this line so we select it using either the mouse or touchpad or the shift and the arrow keys once it is selected now let's use the shortcut command control plus c to copy it as soon as you press control plus c hold the control key with your left hand and press the c key on the keyboard with your right hand you won't see any change happening but it has got copied now to paste this line we need to use the uh, shortcut command control plus v once we do that the uh, the line gets copied or and pasted so you can see in the video it has got pasted since we had not pressed the enter key it has got pasted in the same line now let's press the enter key and once again if we press control plus v another line gets pasted there one more time if we press enter we can get another copy pasted by doing control plus v we can also use the edit menu in the menu, menu bar bring your pointer to the edit command and then click on paste so you will like this you can copy paste these lines on your slide now select the first line and make the font size larger make the second line bold italic and underline it if you face a problem watch the video and learn from it just watch this video and see how we can make changes on our text or on the fonts 
So to make any changes, first you need to select the line on which you want to make a change. So as is being shown in the video, we select a line, the first line we have selected. And now let's change the font size for this line. To do that, bring your pointer to the format option of the menu bar and then click on the character option. When you click there, a box opens and from the options available, click on the font option or click on the font tab. In this, you see different types of fonts, typefaces and the size. Since we want to change the size, we can select the size that we want by scrolling up or down. And then you can see in the preview window also the font gets applied. When we click on OK, we see that being applied to the line that we had selected. Now, let's select another line and see how we can change the typeface. We will make this line bold and italic. So to do that, we have selected this line. Next, we take the pointer to the format option in the menu bar, left click on that and then left click on the character option. And when the box opens, we should select the font option. And within this, you see typefaces. So there is regular italics, bold and bold italic. So let's select the bold italic. You can see the effect in the preview window. And when you click on OK, you will see that the line that you had selected has become bold and italic both. Now, next thing that we want to do is we want that on the same line, the second line, we want to apply underlining. So we need to select the line again. And this time we just go to the formatting bar, click on U, the underline option as is being shown in the video and you see that the underline appears in this line. This is how you can make changes on your text to the font. Next, change the color of the third line. Watch the video if you face a problem. Let us now see how we can change the font color. So to change the color of the font, we need to first select the line. So select the line where you want to apply the font color as is being shown in the video. And after selecting, bring your pointer to the format menu of the menu bar. Left click on that. And then click on the character option from the box that opens. Once you click on character, a box opens. And since you want to change the font color, which will be available in font effects, click on the font effects option or the click on the font effects tab. The first option you see here is for font color. If you click on the drop down button, you see many colors are available. And when you click on one of the colors, you can also see it being applied on the preview window. After this, you can click on OK and you will see that this color has got applied to the line that you had selected. This is how you can change the font color. Now, change the next line into outline. Again, if you face a problem, learn from the video. Let us now practice applying the outline on selected text. So first of all, let's select the line where we want to apply the outline. In the outline, you will see that the characters appear only in outline and there is no solid fill color inside. So having selected the line, let's take our pointer to the format menu of the menu bar. Left click on that and then from the choices, click on the character option. A box opens as is being shown in the video and click on font effects and within this you have outline. 
as soon as you click on outline you can see that it get uh, gets applied in, even in the preview window you can see it click on ok and you can see that it has been applied to the line that you had selected this is how you will use outline next all of you apply an overline on the first line and then also show how you will change the color of the overline if you face a problem learn from the video let us now watch this video and practice the use of overlining so to overline on a particular line you first need to select that line so let's go ahead and select a line and with overlining you will get a line on top of the text that you have selected once selected take your pointer to the format menu of the menu bar left click on that and from the sub menus that open click on the character sub menu once you click there a box opens make sure that you click on the font effects option or the font effects tab and on the right side the first option is for overlining when you click on the drop down button you can see that there are many types of overlining that you can use single double bold dotted etc so choose the one which you like and then the out overline color box or option also gets highlighted click on the drop down box here and you can select you can scroll down and select the color that you want and you will see that once you click on that it will also be shown in the preview window where already you can see the overline has been applied now you can see that in the preview the overline color has also been changed click on okay and you will see that the overline has been applied on the line that you had selected and the color has also been changed now do a strike through over the next line and also show how you will change the line's color if you face a problem learn from the video let us now practice the use of the strike through option so to apply strike through we first need to select the line on which we want to apply the strike through so select the line using the mouse touchpad or the keypad as is being shown in the video then take your pointer to the format option of the menu bar left click on it and then from the choices which are available or the sub menus click on the character sub menu once you click on the character sub menu a box opens and you have to select the font effects tab or click on the font effects option in the right side you see in the middle strike through and if you click on the drop down box you see many options available so let's choose double click on that you can see that happening in the preview window click on okay and you see that the strike through has been applied to the selected line and then underline the next line and also change the color of the underlining if you face a problem learn from the video let us now practice the use of underline so to apply the underline once again we need to first select the line on which we need to apply the underline so this time we are selecting the second last line in our slide select that using the mouse touch pad or the keyboard and after selecting take your pointer to the format menu of the menu bar left click on it and from the sub menus available click on the character sub menu a box opens and in this box select the font effects option and on the right side the last option here is for underlining when you click on the drop down button you see there are many types of underlining available single double bold dotted select the one which you like and also the color option becomes highlighted so click on the drop down button for color and you have many colors available you can scroll up or down and select the color 
and then click on OK. You will see that your line has got underlined in the color that you had chosen. This is how to use underline. Next, practice the use of bullets and numbering. If you face a problem, watch the video and learn from it. Let us now practice applying bullets and numbering. So, the on the lines that you want to apply the bullets and numbering, bring your cursor in the beginning of that, click there and then take your pointer to the format option in the menu bar, click there and then click on the bullets and numbering sub menu. Since you have to apply bullets, click on the bullets option and you see many types of bullets, many styles of bullets available. Click on the one which you like and then click on OK and you will see the same type of bullet gets applied in front of the line that you had kept the cursor on. On the next line again keep the cursor and now let's use the shortcut method by going to the toolbar and clicking on the bullets and numbering option there. As is being shown in the video, click there and the bullets and numbering box opens again. Click on the numbering option. You will see many different styles of numbering are available. Choose the one which you like and click on it and then click on OK. So you will see that the number gets applied in that style on that line where the cursor was. Once again, bring the cursor to the next line's beginning. Click there. Let's go back toolbar and click on the bullets and numbering option. The box opens and now we have to apply graphics to this third line. So choose the graphics option by clicking on it and click on the graphics that you like and then click on OK. You will see that the style of graphics that you had chosen gets applied on this line also. So this is how you can use and apply bullets, numbering and graphic. Next, show how you will set the margin on the left side of the slide. If you face a problem, watch the video and learn from it. Let us now see how we apply space in before and after the text on our slide. So to do so, we need to first select the paragraph on the slide where we need to apply the space. After selecting, let's take our pointer to the format menu of the menu bar. Left click on it and then click on the paragraph option. A box opens. Click on the indents and spacing option. Click on that tab, indents and spacing. And you see before text, after text. So click on the up arrow button in before text to increase the space. And again on the up arrow button in the after text to increase the space after the text. So this will apply. You can see that in the preview also. Click on OK. And you see that on the paragraph that we had selected, there is space before the text as well as after the text. This is how you will apply indents on your paragraph. Now, show how you will change the background of the page. If you face a problem, watch the video and learn from it. Let us now see how we apply background on our page or on our slides. So, to apply the background, we first need to take our pointer to the format Mino in the Mino bar, left click on it and then click on the page option. A box opens and you have page options and background. So click on the background tab or the background option and you see here uh, there are color, gradient, hatching, bitmap, different types of backgrounds you can apply. So if we click on for instance bitmap, it will show us many options of the different types of designs available within bitmap. So you can scroll up and down and select the one which you like. As is being shown here, 
when we select one of these designs it will also show in the preview window so you can decide which one you like for instance we click on droplets and click on ok another box opens here asking us whether you want to apply the background for all pages if you say yes it gets applied on all the slides all the pages of your presentation if you say no it will only apply it to this slide that you have selected so once let's say yes and you can see that the background of the text on your slide has got applied in the format that you want it next practice the use of change case on all the lines one by one if you face a problem watch the video and learn from it with the help of this video we will now practice the use of change case option of the format menu so to change the case we first need to select the line on which we want to apply first we are going to apply small letters so take the pointer to the format option of the menu bar click there and then bring the pointer to change case and you see many options available sentence case upper case lower case capitalize every word and toggle case since we want to make all letters small we will use lower case so we will click on that and you can see that all the letters all the characters of the sentence that we had selected come in small letters or in lower case let us select the next line and see what happens with upper case so we select this line as is being shown in the video take a pointer to the format menu of the menu bar left click on that bring a pointer to change case and from the options which are shown click on upper case so when you click on upper case the line that you had selected all the letters all the characters of that line are in upper case or capital letters let us select the next line and watch what happens if we were to apply a different case here so we are selecting the next line now we'll take the pointer again to the format option of the menu bar click there bring it to change case and when the options are shown let us now use capitalize every word so once we click there you notice that each word of our sentence the first letter of it gets capitalized or is in capital letters so this is how you use capitalize every word let us apply the next option on the next sentence which is for toggle case so we have selected the sentence taken a pointer to format option click there bring the pointer to change case and then select the toggle case option when you select toggle case whatever characters are in small letters change to capital letters as is being shown in the video and whatever characters were in capital letters change to small letters the last option we need to practice is the sentence case so let us now select the whole paragraph and apply sentence case on the entire slide take a pointer to the format option bring it to change case and click on sentence case option so in sentence case the first character of every sentence is in capital and the other characters are in small letters so this is how you will apply sentence case this is how you use change case option on your slide next change the design of the slide if you face a problem watch the video and learn from it now we will see how we can apply change of slide design so slide design change to do that we need to take our pointer to the format option in the menu bar 
there and then from the available options click on slide design a box opens and it shows you the type of slides which are already available as default if you click on load it will another box will open and you can choose the category of my templates presentation backgrounds or presentations and it will show you different designs there like in presentation you have these two designs available as is being shown in the video if you click on more it will show you a preview box and then if you click on the preview option the slide design that you have selected you can see in the preview if you change it you see the next design of the preview of the next design so this way from the presentation backgrounds let's select one of these slides and click on ok and you will find that design coming in this particular box in the slide design box if you click on ok you will find that that slide design has been applied to your slide so this is how you can use slide design to change the design next use the slide layout to change the layout of the slide and then and then bring up a blank layout slide and draw any image in it today's class will end here save your impress file and then shut down your computer properly in today's class you practice some options of the format menu like character sub menu page sub menu change case bullets and numbering slide design and slide layout thank you